Yo. Uh, so, uh, I think I skipped it, but um, they did become enemies. I think. I don't remember where this starts up. Come on. Your money is at low, by the way. I'm, I'm aware. Yes, uh, this is the turn. Where the, uh, by this point, they declared war on the Goron. I don't know why I didn't just look over. It says enemies. <laughs> and I give them me fighting. So they accept. So I have 15 turns. To, uh, I can provide support for 15 turns. That's my only obligation for this fight, uh, for the uh, Goron, uh, Wizrobe. Which is fine because look what's sitting right there. The goddess of the goddess who's in charge of Wizrobe, there, uh, along with one of their little supporting sieges, is attacking the Dodongo caverns. Uh, I do have that behind me, but it's too weak. I don't know if I do waste soldiers on this, but it would be stupid if I did. I think I contemplate attacking that, but I think that might be. In my a mind says it'd be much. smarter to go support the Wizro. So I go support the Wizro. Because there's only the goddess alone. No. The goddess alone is that gray one right there. Okay. She's extremely strong. The white and gray one is her is her faction. It's much weaker. She on her own is stronger than all those units. Oh wait, no, never mind, that's not even her, that's someone else. Hmm. Either way. They're strong, so they can hold their own. But I decided I'm going to maintain the siege because I was going to be nice and let them take this. Because I was also interested in a late game fight where I'm much stronger. Now, something that's interesting in most games where if you have, or in most Total War 2s, if you have Night Attack on, you get a boost to your combat ability. Link and Zelda lose combat ability. Why? Because they're fight for the day. No, that doesn't make right. sense. In order to even do the knight attack, you need to have the knight trait, which boosts your command ability. His com natural command ability is only three. It's through all kinds of stuff. He gets a boost. Hmm. And unlike in most games where fighting actually gets him an increase, he doesn't get an increase in this one. Don't know why. But yeah, my money is really, really, really low. But I survive because I don't really need to actually... I like to start looking to see what's being built and if there's anything that's monetary that can be built. But I don't think anyone has any issues because everyone's still constructing stuff that boosts my trade. I think that was the primary focus to make sure everything that was being done is trade by this point. But if you notice, I don't do any recruit spam. <laughs> All I do is force that hold that over there. And then I'm just trying to see who are my allies at war with, so I can probably declare war on those people. But then I, that's when I remember the vassal thing, and I saw that. The Deku are at war with everyone. <laughs> Why? I don't know. The Deku tribe, which has one city. If you look, the light green is surrounding the one Deku no nation. <laughs> <laughs> and they're at war with everybody north of them. So the Kokiri have to defend that, and of course the King Dodongo are attacking us. Um, yeah, I wanted to look at his stats. Ignore the fact he's 13. <laughs> 13 millennia. Yeah, might be 13 millennia. But that's about it. I wanted to look over his stats a little bit, though, just to see him. And then I noticed this one says the Dongo. I don't know why. And that one says marked for war, so I just wanted to read what they mean. Bomb throws, more the Dongos. Yeah, basic stuff. And there's an army behind you. Huh? There's an army behind you of the Dongos. There's, yeah, I don't even know when they got the there. They during the Goron's turn when they attacked. Because I don't follow AI movement, it skips it. So you just see them appear. See ya! See ya! Whose face and half of her body is burned. <laughs> hey, that reminds me of that one game, Dark Fang, that we played that we'll never speak of ever again. And yet you brought it up. <laughs> yeah, that kind of does defeat the point for of never speaking of it again. It, so yeah, that. it just popped in my head. It didn't pop in my head after the uh, first time I saw her. <laughs> oh, right, I remember that. I'm still happy so with my enough. choices in that one. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? You're going to have to explain this to me later. Okay. It, but, yeah, it, so it, I paused it was again. Not, it was it, not what? It was just a simple date and sentence game. I mean, uh, it was not what as I was expecting. I'll tell you that now. It was okay. actually really good, considering. Yeah, it was good, but I didn't expect that. I'm pretty sure a lot of people didn't expect it, but it was. Doesn't matter what you expect; it matters whether or not it's good. 
Okay, it was good, but I forgot <laughs> to read the manual. Did you read the manual? Nobody reads the manual anymore. It's For games. Manual. Well, sometimes, sometimes the game doesn't even come with a manual anymore. Just a sheet of paper saying you... Because no one reads them anymore. They try to shove them in the game. Oh, tutorials. Goddamn. Oh, oh wait. Mm -hmm. What the hell are you doing? Yes. Yeah, so you... That yes. was essentially... Whoa! It's that was my pre-battle plug. Out. Wow. Is that the uh, king coming right now? Yeah, they're, they're, they attacked me. So that means I didn't actually get a pre-battle deployment. My guys are just kind of set up. And then I noticed the Dodongo King just sitting right in the middle. And he's so thug, he just stands there. So I try to shoot him with Ballista. You know, massive. Yeah, so I think that's gonna hurt. <laughs> that's probably a good call. Why would they make him a giant bomber king? No, Does a giant no, bomber king bomb. exist in the game? Oh no! Oh. That would be really bad. That would probably ruin the balance of this game. A cavalry soldier that can run around shooting bombs. He doesn't give a shit. Did you just run through your entire? Yes, he can't. Mm -hmm. He can't be stopped. He will just ram through everything, and then the Dodongo will uh, barrel roll their way through too. Uh, so yeah, once this happens, I tell my soldiers to run away. I I didn't realize my siege, my Onager people siegers, uh, Onager siegers, got taken off of their Onager. So I got confused as to why they could run, but the other couldn't. But I don't address it yet. I think I do send Zelda after the Dodongo King. And then I, at one point, wished Link was here because this would he would actually be able to fight the Dodongo King. But is Zelda? In in this situation where he can't move, Zelda is uh, Link is better. But when he can move, Zelda's better because he can't he can't just barrel through Cav like that. He has an issue barreling through Cav. Yeah, this is kind of chaos right now. Yeah, it becomes just chaos. And mind you, if you look on the map, there's a AI, my AI partners. There's blue. You see that blue over there? That's the whispering yeah. people. They're going to just take the town center. They're not even trying to help. They, they, <laughs> wow. They don't They're need just going straight for the town center. <laughs> you so know fun. what? I would be mad, but I would do the same thing too. So yeah, I, would, I have nothing I'm not going to do the exact same thing. So I can't even really be mad that they did it. But it don't matter because I very handily win. The Dodongo King is dead. Or no, he's not dead. He's still alive. King will not. The dude is still the trucking. King. He's Why dead. Why would he go down? I, I, I don't. But yeah, so my cab ended up following him inside the building. They're not supposed to be able to do that, but because they opened the doors, my horses followed him in. Well, sorry. Did you manage to take? Did you manage to take the city? Uh, yes, I do take the city still. Because the whiz robes stopped taking the center at some point. When the when the retreated soldiers get into the town center, they stop attacking. Or they stop the pursuing, king rather. He's still alive. Is and he still alive? <laughs> yeah, he. I thought he died. He's still trucking everybody. <laughs> I don't know God, where man. Zelda is and all of this. Just think about it. I don't know what's it. going on. I don't know who. Think about what. If he, that was an actual unit, that they could summon up, if they had five of those things, it would be over for most armies. Oh, if they had five King the, King the Dongos? Yeah. Thank God it's a general unit. That would just be redonkulous. He's dead. Oh no, building captured. Now he's dead. I just the saw him general fall. is dead. The battle is won. Yeah. We're having Dodongos yes. tonight. There's the Dodongos. Actually, team. no it isn't. <laughs> I don't know if that would be tasty. The inside of their bodies made for know. leather. And bomb material. Aha. Uh -huh. why would I eat that? Yeah, but no. If we if they used Leos's suggestion, I no one could beat the Goron, because everyone could just rock King Dodongo, send him through solo, he would shoot bombs while being unkillable. Oh, he be a cow. <laughs> <laughs> you saw him barrel through half my army. He fought he fought like, like six hundred soldiers on his own. <laughs> now imagine he had bombs. You saw what the bombs, the bombers did to my infantry unit. Took it from 130 to 90. So, yeah, no, he just, see, that's how we avoid having to actually siege, because that happened. <laughs> like, four soldiers got in. <laughs> so those four could just take on those shaman that are routing. Well, the horsemen of the apocalypse. Run! <laughs> and then that's where I noticed the wizard of people are still are here. Doing here. But then they just stopped. I don't know why. Like they got fit. But they stopped. And I was like, yeah, I was like, okay, so they're not near the town center. 
So I'm confused why they didn't keep going. And then these little goofy go around. They determined they can roll out back towards me. Although, I don't remember. I do end up, like, tricking some of them into charging into the Wizard people, but the Wizard don't actually really fight. So it's not that entertaining. Now, why my horsemen would refuse to charge them is still beyond me. I don't know why they wouldn't attack. So I have to do the other. I have to do that cheap thing. Uh, cheap thing. Before you launch the fourth, then tell them to attack. Hmm. Yeah. I don't. Otherwise, I don't know why they weren't attacking. I also don't know why the wizard. Rope, I don't know why. The, a lot happened. I don't know why. I don't know how one survived. He's just rolling on his own. Rolling, rolling, Keep rolling. rolling, 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 rolling. That does not stop rolling. Seth rolling, Keep rolling, 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 rolling. They're really gonna try this? Yeah, they're gonna, well, they, actually they route it, and then I think they unroute. No, they route, they're still routed. So they just happen to be running this direction, but they do get smacked, I think. See, this was weird, that they actually were attacking using the ladders and stuff. <laughs> I'm sitting there fighting everything, and they're just using the ladders to sneak in. Meanwhile, the goddess just... It matters not, because I get the town. I have the town center. <laughs> <It's> Damn. <mine>. <laughs> town center is mine. Look at that. I was real mad. They lost, and somehow Ow. they lost like 80 soldiers. And Zelda lost experience. <laughs> she lost experience from that fight. Because <laughs> she lost a lot of her soldiers. Experience in this game is just the average sum of everyone's experience in the game. If you lose a whole bunch of experienced soldiers, you no longer get that experience. And then I got the cook, the hideout for those rebel, for those little um, uh, dudes. I don't know what they're actually called within the kind of game. By the way, I accept them because they give me a free general and they give me some pretty good units. Yes. Okay. So I finally am able to let Link go. Unfortunately, uh, but not the direction home? you might think. <laughs> yeah, he's going to that other city that he first took. But so what I did, even though it doesn't implicitly say it, I uh, boosts my relations with the Wizard people. It actually does make them slightly happier. But since I think my affinity with them is at max, it won't really change. But yes, yeah, so I did that and I took this city. I didn't realize I took it at first, but I was quite happy to see I had it. Of course, the Wizard people left as soon as they discovered I took it. <laughs> Cause I don't have. They, what the hell I, I don't think they have military account, access, man. and if they do, it'll ru ruin our relationship. <laughs> it does. I'm living on the edge. That number gets low, then it just gets high again. Cause I do cut out a lot of um, crap in between. Um, uh, no, a lot of micromanagement stuff. Cause there's a point where I'm sitting here not doing things. I don't know why. I don't know. Probably thinking over your strategy for what you do do for what you I should be. do next. <laughs> I could be. That's probably what I was doing. I mean, that's how it happens for most people when they um playing this game. But uh, seriously, those dungles are just sitting outside your place. I'm not sure how to feel about them. Well, those Goron are there, and yeah, I try to. So this became weird. I noticed suddenly I was at peace with them because I was gonna continue fighting them. That's why they didn't attack me. And Wait, I was at peace you got with them. It. Now, what happened? The reason why it became peaceful. Is because the Wizro people orchestrated our alliance, or er, all of it. <laughs> so I offered. So them... it was never you declaring war. So. No, 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 no. The Goron declared war on me. Then Wizro declared war on them because I agreed to help the Wizro people out. The Wizro people helped me get peace. That's what happened. Okay. Uh. So yeah. Um. I I was prepared to fight the Goron, and then I discovered that happened. I was kind of confused as to why I had minus or 0.5 population loss. And I was trying to figure it out, and I noticed it's squalor. So I was trying to figure out what clears squalor, which would be um, anything for cleanliness. Basically, a lot of people do dirty. That's what that's showing. <laughs> and we were at 100% got strict goddess worship, and now we're at 98%. So I was real confused as to what happened. And our exports.